No, Mom, please. I have to say this. I can't go outside these walls. There's just too much pain. I can feel everyone staring at me. Staring at this. The noise it makes is just so loud. That's why I dropped out of high school. I felt everyone's eyes staring at me and heard all the giggles they tried to suppress as I limped and clomped down the hall. Especially when I'd enter the choir room. Jim would never want to be around me again. Sure, we talk sometimes, but he wouldn't want to be around me any more than those few occasions. Not around the limping girl who causes such a racket. Nobody wanted to be near me. So I tuned out from the rest of the world before it could cause me any more pain than I've already suffered. And it seems that whatever crippled my leg. Yes, Mom, you might as well admit I am crippled. Has crippled my entire being throughout time. It seems I just kept getting worse and worse in school. And then in business college and that confined typing room and the quick clacking of keyboards surrounding me as I stumbled and fat fingered all the letters. I felt as if the professor was breathing down my neck silently mocking me as I continued to fail. Mom, secluded from the world inside this home, listening to phonograph records and dusting my glass collection, this is where I belong. I fail at everything else in the outside world. Here, there's nothing to fail at. I'll never succeed at finding a husband or a job. So I might as well just quit trying now and just be content in my bubble. At least having no additional failure for the rest of my life. I can't see Jim. <laughs> it would just be the ultimate failure rejection from the only person I've ever loved. Mom, I can't just have dinner without me.